Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss about types of crack in beam. So, in beam, we see that different types of crack occur. So, which types of occur for which region and how we can prevent that, we will discuss about that in this video. And in our previous video, I have already discussed about many topics on civil engineering basics. So, if you're new here, you can watch that video and also in this channel about a uh, huge amount of software tutorial are available so you can also watch that and if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel so let's start so here the crack in beam due to increased shear stress crack in beam due to increasing shear stress so when shear stress increased which types of crack walker so these types of crack walker and if we see any details the crack in concrete beams due to increase in shear stress apart near the support such as wall or columns those crack are also called shear crack and are inclined at 45 degrees with the horizontal i mean these types of crack occurs with 45 degree angle and this is occur near the column joint okay near the joint where the shear are maximum so those cracks can be avoided by providing additional shear reinforcement near the support where the shear stress is maximum the shear stress is maximum at the distance of d2 at the distance of d2 from the support where d is the effective depth of the beam okay so we have to provide the maximum we have to provide the maximum strap or shear bar where shear stress are maximum i mean uh, within the limits of uh, half times of effective depth of the beam we have to provide maximum shear bar to prevent the shear stress or shear crack so the next one is crack in concrete beams due to corrosion or influence concrete cover okay generally beams are provided with slab at the top so top of the beam is not exposed to environment bottom of the beam are exposed to environment and if the cover to reinforcement is influenced then corrosion of the reinforcement take place so crack due to corrosion of reinforcement apart at the bottom of the beam those cracks generally appear near the side face of the beam near the bottom reinforcement along the its as shown in the figure below so here uh, we're seeing that these types of crack occur due to the corrosion okay and uh, the upper upper cracks is not available in this types of crack because uh, this portion is also included with the slab and this is covered by slab but uh, the bottom side are open that's why here this color uh, cover uh, i mean cracks are occur so to prevent that how will prevent that so this crack due to reinforcement corrosion cause can cause a spilling of concrete in several causes and can be prevented by good quality control during its construction by providing adequate river cover as per environmental condition okay so we have to provide the maximum cover here i mean according to the environmental condition we have to provide maximum cover so by that way we can reduce that cracking so after that cracks parallel to main steel in case of corrosion in the beam okay so if corrosion occur in the beam then uh, the crack occur like that way i mean parallel and parallel with respect to beam uh, beam steel i mean main steel these types of crack occur so we'll see that now those crack also appear due to corrosion of the reinforcement but at the bottom of the face those beam those appear parallel to main reinforcement at the bottom this corrosion is also due to provision of inf i mean uh, provision of uh, influenced reinforcement cover which led to corrosion of main reinforcement so uh, now we'll see that another crack bending bending stress okay so crack due to increased 
bending stress in beam when bending stress occur then the beam will deflect the like that way and here some crack will occur so if we see here crack uh, due to increased bending stress in beams appear near the center of a span I mean near the center of a span of the beam at an angle of 45 degree with horizontal as the bending moment is maximum at midpoint so if we uh, focus on the midpoint of the beam their bending moment are maximum and for the fixed supported beam bending bending moment are maximum and there that types of crack occur due to that bending moment so if the reinforcement provided is insufficient for the load of the beam is exposed to bending stress increased which leads to increased deflection at the middle of the span I mean if we provide the insufficient reinforcement that are required to resist that bending then this types of crack can be occur so crack due to increased bending moment can be prevented by providing adequate main reinforcement at the mid span of the beam crack should be taken during design of the beam to consider all the probable load and load combinations for the design okay so uh, we have to consider or we have to provide the maximum reinforcement that are required here to provide that types of I and mean, to prevent that types of stress I mean uh, if we provide maximum bar in bottom then it will resist the maximum bending stress and if the bending stress is resisted by the uh, bar I mean reinforcement then the crack will not occur so uh, under reinforced section of beam is the main cause of this crack under reinforced section okay so we have know that two terms the over reinforced and under reinforced so under reinforced section are the main causes of these types of crack so if we see about that uh, the crack another crack, crack due to compression failure in the beam so when compression force are working very much on a beam then these types of crack can be occurred due to the shear so crack due to compression failure in beam upper at the top of the beam is over reinforced when it's over reinforced in case of over reinforced the beam has the capacity to bear higher bending stress but at the same time if the top reinforcement is provided insufficient to carry the compressive strength the top of the beam get cracked so what is the meaning of that in case of over reinforcement the beam has the capacity to bear high bending stress but at the same time if the top reinforcement provided is insufficient to carry the compressive strength the top of the beam get cracked that means when we'll use or when we'll provide the over reinforcement for the beam then it will cons uh, it will uh, uh, carry the bending stress okay but when at the same time when the top reinforcement are under insufficient I mean top reinforcement are insufficient to carry the compressive extent by helping the top layer of the concrete then it will get cracked due to the insufficient to carry the compressive extent so these types of failure can be prevent by designing a balanced section in who is the capacity of the beam in compression is capable for carrying additional compressive strength suppose uh, you have provided some reinforcement I mean uh, you have provided some concrete that have a limited capability to resist the compression force and if we provide the reinforcement it will also carry some compressive force so then it will be okay but if we provide some reinforcement that are not insufficient then these types of crack will occur so if you think that that's helpful for you so you can also support our channel and don't forget to like our video and also don't forget to share our video and leave a comment if you have any suggestion or any query about that video and if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel
and from that list you can watch the more video that you require to learn from the playlist of basic civil engineering I mean civil engineering basic knowledge playlist so thank you thank you very much s12 s connected till next video